Future RN, you have completed nursing school and now you want to get ready for your boards. Uh, I want to share with you your top five or my top five picks of things that you do not want to do as you get ready for your NCLEX boards. Stay tuned. So things you should avoid, number one, please avoid stretching your exam date out more than eight weeks. So what we're finding is hashtag facts, the longer you take to test after you finish nursing school is the more your potential for passing that first time dwindles. So let's just be clear, this is not the ideal time to, yay, I'm out of nursing school, go on a cruise, come back and prep for boards. You have no idea how many things can go wrong on that cruise that is going to stretch out your eight week window. So as far as possible, schedule that exam within eight weeks. You want to be aggressive with your preparation, not impatient, because long term goals beyond eight weeks tend to have less aggressive actions taken. And this exam, it's a beast. You want to be aggressive. You want to strike while the iron is hot. Try to stay within that eight week window. Number two. Schedule your exam at the time that's best for you. Not the best time for your family, not the best time for the test administrator, the best time that's good for you. You want to show up to that exam as your optimal self, having the best capacity to function in a testing condition. So if you're not a morning person, don't you dare schedule a morning exam. Number three, do not study seven days a week. If that's your MO and it's been working for you, then keep doing that. But if that's never been you, this is not the time to change and start studying seven days a week. Burnout is a real thing. And if you have a good plan in place, then you should schedule it so that you have at least one rest day each week. Number four, don't go on a job interview before your exam. You don't need that kind of pressure. Now I know you finished nursing school, you made a lot of sacrifices, a lot of financial investment, and it's time for you to reap the benefits of that investment. But you're not gonna do it if you don't pass that exam. Don't show up to your exam pressured because now you're doing your testing on someone else's timeline. What does a conversation sound like if you show up pressured and you're not successful? Hey, prospective employee, employer, I tested, I didn't pass. Will you still give me a job? Here's something you want to also think about. The evidence shows that when you are not successful the first time you test this exam, your chances of succeeding after that actually deteriorates every time. It's harder to go back to that exam after doing it one time and not being successful. Don't put yourself into that position. Avoid the interviews before your exam. You don't need that kind of pressure. Number five. Do not agonize over individual questions. Right? Remember, when you're preparing for the exam, you want to use your same testing principles, applying your, your textbook knowledge, applying your experiences, applying that critical thinking, using your clinical judgment pathway. But you want to make sure that when you get stumped by a question, you're not obsessing over it. Apply your critical thinking the best way you can. Eliminate answers that are irrelevant or just incorrect. Choose, choose your answer and move on. You're doing this because you want to break that habit of second guessing yourself and break that habit of falling victim to questions or topics that you just don't know. They're going to come in the exam. You won't know it all, but you can remain confident in the things that you do know. Just stop worrying about the things that you just don't know. All right. So. I, we just went over my top five picks for things you do not want to do as you get ready for your board exams. First, you don't want to stretch out your exam more than eight weeks. Two, you don't want to study seven days a week. Number three, you don't want to test at a time that's not good for you. Number four, you don't want to go on job interviews until you've actually passed the exam. Number five, and last but finding, but definitely not least, do not agonize over individual test questions. Break that habit now. If you found this information useful, 
don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out our video on things that you do want to do as you get ready for your exam. Bye!